Welcome back everybody. We have another how-to, but it's not quite like the previous how-tos. This one's going to cover more specifically armor, AP, and HE. So which do you pick? You've got AP over here and you've got HE over here. How do you know which one? What's the time to switch back to AP? And understanding what to shoot and where to shoot can be the difference in having an enjoyable experience and hating your life in this game. Especially for those people who only reload every 30 seconds or love the Kansas at 34 seconds. So basically your ship is broke down into four parts, right? You've got the bow, the stern, the midsection, and the superstructure up top. I feel like that's relatively simple to understand, but what you need to also understand is oversaturation as well. Both AP and HE can do this, and since they just put SAP in the game, SAP does it extremely fast. SAP is bugged all to hell, and I'm assuming they're going to fix it hopefully next update, because right now with SAP, you can shoot like five salvos at somebody and then get zero damage for the rest of the game on that person. So we might touch a little bit on SAP, but not that much because SAP is pretty bugged. So what we'll really talk about is HE and AP. And I'm actually on the wiki.wargaming.net if you guys want to check this out yourselves. There's a lot of videos on it that they've done for PC, not so much for Legends. To my knowledge, the PC mechanics are very similar to what we have here here in Legends. So just looking at HE first, HE penetration. So I don't know in Legends if we have this 30 millimeter specific penetration. I know we have quarter pin. That's like pretty much all German cruisers. One fifth pin and there's also one sixth pin. Understanding these values will help you understand the game. First off, across the board, pretty much every HE shell can penetrate enemy superstructure. That's why pretty much any destroyer out there can shoot at a battleship, hit him in the superstructure with HE, and you'll get penetration damage on top of lighting fires. That's also when a battleship hits another battleship in the superstructure and you get overpins, whereas a destroyer with smaller guns can shoot AP into that superstructure and do significant damage. The reason that Weimar is so brokenly overpowered is because Weimar gets quarter pin on like a four and a half second reload. So let's do some simple math here, right? We've got Weimar right here. Weimar has, let's see, 150 millimeter guns. Now let's look at the Yamato's armor. So you take 150, 150, I've got my calculator here, multiplied by a quarter. That equals 37.5. I hope you guys can see that. 37.5. So the Weimar at tier six with quarter pin HE on a four and a half second reload can pin 37.5. The entire bow section of the Yamato here is 32 millimeters. 37, that means the Weimar can shoot HE at this bow, and the HE will arm and get max damage. If you yourself would like the formula on calculating HE penetration, go ahead and pause the video right now, and it'll stay right there on the screen for you. PC has something called IFHE, but we actually have that here in Legends as well. It would be this little golden thing right here, equilibrium of power. As you can see up top here, armor penetration of HE shells of your cruiser, up 30%. Now it hurts you in terms of fire. It does hurt your chances of fire, and it does take back the damage a little bit, but increases the pin by 30%. Now if you're one of those maniacs that actually runs equilibrium of power, go ahead and pause the video now, because here is the formulation you can calculate out exactly what you can and cannot pin. It's pretty significant, but it does hurt your chances of fire. Personally, I don't recommend it. Now, we're on to my bread and butter, AP. But understanding AP, because AP is kind of tricky, whereas HE will explode, and if it has enough penetration, it will arm, it will cause damage, it will light fires. It's the noob shell. AP can be very, very re rewarding but also can be very frustrating at times. If you want a Citadel, most ships in the game, you fire AP, but at what angle? I'm not gonna tell you where to fire because we have a how-to video on aiming, but I'm gonna discuss angles today. Angles and armor. Those are the two things you need to understand when it comes to firing AP. First things first, when it comes to angles, there's three that are in this game. There's the auto ricochet, chance to ricochet, and basically guaranteed penetration. This is a guaranteed ricochet if you fire at the bow. Now, if somebody shoots in your superstructure, that's we can't help you there. But straight onto the bow here, that's a guaranteed ricochet all the way to about 60, which for me would be about 
I would say about right there. Now it does change because the armor changes here on the ship's hull. As you can see, it flares out a little bit. Okay, now that changes the angle at which the shell is impacting, right? But something about like, about like that, roughly, that's more than likely going to ricochet unless it catches that kind of flatter spot where the armor bows out and it makes it look more like that angle. But more than likely, those are going to ricochet unless it overmatches. But again, that's something we might not even touch today. And then from about 60, which I think will be about right here, 60 all the way to the 45, which is here, that has a chance of penetrating. So 60 to 45 is a chance of penetrating an army. So we got guaranteed ricochet, we have a chance of ricochet, and then we have guaranteed penetration. And the guaranteed penetration is from about 45 all the way over to here to the flat broadside. Well, they call this zero degrees, but however you want. So just remember that flat broadside to about 45 degree of angle, you're gonna pin. From 45 to about 60, like right there, that has a chance of penetrating. And then 60 to 90, guaranteed ricochets, get them out of here. Now, let's talk about damage, and we'll come back to the angles. So, I wanna tell you something. When we look here at the AP shell, uh, you see max AP shell damage, 5830. Now you're thinking, wow, 5830 hit points per shell. What they do not tell you in Legends, unless you go and dig deeper. It's like the, it's the alpha, basically. So that, the only way to get that number right there would be to citadel a ship. Another thing they don't tell you in this game is that since that's the max alpha, and unless you hit a citadel, if you can get a shell to arm, that number gets cut down by 66%. So a penetration is only 33% of that right there. Break out the calculator. 5,830.3. So that comes out to 1,749 per shell of a penetration. That's why citadels are so, so, so important. So that is a full pin. What's the difference there? You know, almost 6,000 versus 1,800. That's a huge difference per shell. On top of that, as the game wears on, people get oversaturated in the superstructure, the bow, you name it. This number of 33% will come down over time as you're shooting into more saturated structure. Citadels don't get oversaturated. Now, Wargaming has a very nice little, uh, I would say, GIF that they've created here explaining penetration of shells. Now, this first one, that's from a far back distance and it's coming in, and that number right there, the angle into the armor, has a big effect. People don't realize that. Same thing here. This is showing flat trajectory, and it's showing why you want to hit on the side of a ship instead of on top of the deck. You'll ricochet right off the deck, but if you hit the side at a short range, you'll pin straight through the side of the boat. Now, you might have heard the term plunging fire before. Again, Wargaming has created a nice little uh, a deal here. Yeah, long range. And that's why you want to hit the deck, because you're more likely going to pin the deck. You're most likely going to ricochet off the side of the ship at long range. But right now, I'm going to try and give you some very good examples. Okay, we have a great example here. Riga, bow on. I'm not going to be able to pin that with AP. So we're going to load HE. Now we hit a lot of superstructure there. And lit a fire. Surrey, exact same thing. HE. But as I get closer and closer, these angles are going to start opening up and it's going to give me the availability to switch to AP. Now, destroyers, obviously HE, but I'm going to show you AP is still pretty darn effective against them. Let's fire AP at range. See how that goes. Nice tight salvo. And he's gonna die to a torp. So you see we actually got a pin and two over pins there. Now we have AP loaded for this Riga. Remembering our angles. Citadels. Same thing on the Surrey. Although there's gonna be a dead guy in the way, so that's kind of unfortunate. 
Now I'm just going to load AP because I feel like AP is the thing that people need to really understand because I'm not quite sure that everyone really understands AP all that much. Let's go straight in. I'm going to radar the Amalfi. Now watch this angle here. Watch where these shells hit. Ricochets. Did you see that? Because we were in that window of around 60 or so degrees off bow, but now watch the angle. Citadels. Eight penetrations. Understanding your angles in this game will make you such a better player literally overnight. Here we go again. Helena, this is more than likely going to result in overpins, but we're going to see what we can get. We got one Citadel. The thing is that Helena is so lightly armored that I'm actually punching completely through it. Here's a good angle on an Algier. Let's see what we do. We dev strike the Algier. Hopefully that kind of puts a little bit of context behind what I'm saying. Now you might be wondering, well, okay, that was cruisers. And the reason I started with that is because they don't really have the best pin. They've got good pin. Balti has really good pin. The Americans get better penetration angles, but what about something that overmatches? Back over to the wiki to tell you exactly what an overmatch is. By definition, if the armor thickness is less than 114.3 of an AP or SAP shell caliber, a ricochet, a ricochet does not occur regardless of armor. Have you ever shot at a destroyer in a battleship and he's been bow on, you had AP loaded? Guess what? You didn't ricochet unless it was like a cab or Apollo or something like that. That's because you overmatched that destroyer's armor regardless of angle. So now, let's jump in and let's see what we can do. This should be a pretty good example here. Got a Shores. Take the right lead. See what we get. Going for the bow, just under the guns. He's cutting in pretty hard. We ended up hitting high. We hit superstructure, you can see a shell hole there. Five overpins. Here comes another pretty good example around the corner. Got a York. We've got some halfway decent angling. Let's see what we get. Four overpins and a pin. We hit in the right spot, but York can have kind of a weird armor scheme sometimes. Here comes an even better example around the corner. Amagi, completely flat broadside. We'll even bust a plane here. Pull the trigger, see where they all hit. We slammed them, you can see the shell holes there. Six penetrations and one overpin. Now, with this York being bow on, I should overmatch this York through and through. The ship is on fire. Just gonna wait for the right moment. Blammo, overmatch, four pins, two overpins. Who is that AI torping? Look out, invisible best friend! Oh, young AI, don't you know? Don't you already know, AI? You will never get this, you will never get this, la 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 la. Come on, secondaries. Now we're in Fletcher. Let me show you the AP in Fletcher. Because it's so fast firing, I'll be able to get a lot of really good examples. Destroyers, especially the gunboats, the Russians, uh, the, well, I guess the Lightning, Fletcher, Benson, all the, almost all the American gunboats, their AP is very, very good against cruisers. Battleship superstructure, sure. Cruisers, if you get in that close range, usually inside of your spotting range, your AP could citadel those guys and chunk them. So watching the AP here, go down range. Look how that AP is pinning for 753. Yeah, 753. Now I'm too far out to actually get citadels on that particular target. AP on the Iowa, let's see how it pins. 753, look where I'm hitting. I'm hitting right at that deck line, the base of the superstructure. That's your money zone. And look, now it's dropped to 526, there's a 753. Oh, hello there, Richelieu. Now watch, we're gonna shoot for the bow, which I know we can pin. Right, boom, we pin the bow big time. Okay, let's get off the bow, let's go for more hull. And we're pinning the hull pretty, pretty aggressively. A Cleveland. 
As long as he doesn't eat torps, always oh, closing the angle. What's a guy got to do to get some examples around here? Jeez. Again, you see, you see the very similar numbers. There's 228. He's oversaturated. There's 506. There's 553 still. Shores AP 6.4. Let's see if we can citadel that. We got one citadel right before he died. Now watch this. We're gonna fire AP at this guy in the bow. Ricochet, 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 overpin superstructure, ricochet, 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 because we're in that 90 to 60 range there. HE, guaranteed pin and arms, five penetrations. Here we go. Can we Citadel? Surrey's kind of got some weird armor. We're hitting in the right spot. And there's the Citadel. So maybe we just had to get a little bit more angle on it to get that pin to actually reach into that Citadel. We were pinning, but we weren't reaching the Citadel. I'm guessing that's what it was. As a quick recap, damage saturation, very important. If they're oversaturated and their ship is discolored, you're not going to get as much damage. The Citadel cannot be oversaturated, but for an HE spammer, it might make a difference. Or more specifically, SAP right now. At least HE can still light fires. And on that note of HE, HE pin being the quarter pin, fifth pin, and sixth pin, HE, you can rewind if you'd like the formula. IFHE, of course, equilibrium of power in Legends. If you want more details on that, you should go to this wiki page. They have a lot of stuff you can read all about there. But AP is kind of the whole point around this video. That's what I'd like to talk a little bit more about. Just remember, off bow to 60 degrees is kind of like the guaranteed ricochet. 60 to 45 is a potential ricochet, as you saw like in that, on that Fletcher just a minute ago. Just remember the flat broadside to 45 in that area is where you're gonna get the best penetration. I feel like most people already know that, but like you just saw with the Fletcher going against the Surrey there, I think I was able to pin, right? But I don't think the pin was able to go far enough into the Citadel to actually get the Citadel, because as he came more broadside, uh, we actually got a citadel there at the end, or it was the, you know, non-existent pitadel. Penetration works off of two different directions. You've got the ship angle and you've got the angle of the shell coming down. Those are really important things I think people should consider. And of course, overmatching, very important to know what you do and do not overmatch. So all in all, the way I can help you the best is to tell you to go and learn some of these armor values on some of the ships that you see most frequent in the game. Just go to the armor viewer and go look. You see Baltimore out there quite often. Baltimore's got a 27 millimeter bow. So you can do the math. Say you like to play Richie Lou or you like to play Bismarck. They can't touch this bow. They do not have enough penetration. They do not overmatch. Therefore, if Balti stays bow in to either of those two or Scharnhorst or whatever shoots at this thing, they cannot overmatch it. Guess what? Ricochet! So if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. If you're going to use any of these tactics, go out and use them. See if they help and improve your gameplay. Come back to the comment section. Let me know down below. I'll heart that comment. Until the next video, everybody, have a good one. Peace!